everybody. How you doing today? Nice to have you here on Comics News Today for October 17th. Ooh, time is flying by. Halloween's getting closer. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to have to do something special, a Halloween show there, uh, Denali. Uh, of course, I think we'll kind of focus that on the uh, on the fan edition, I'm sure. Uh, and, of course, the fan edition mm -hmm. is back today, although uh, I think I will give a nod to the Ultimate Edition because, you know, why not? Uh, but uh, I see Roger Heller's in here. Hello, Roger. We got Damn Nation. He says, howdy all. Well, howdy to you as well. Uh, and uh, March Hare, of course, is in here. And uh, Damn Nation says, I was hard to find this channel yesterday. I think YouTube is acting up. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. Uh, uh, we're not monetized, so we don't fall into the normal ag alg algorithms uh, problems, uh, which uh, gives them consternations. Ha! I was right. Hashtag Chester was right. <laughs> should be like a daily thing. Uh, but nevertheless, guys, uh, thank you very much for uh, visiting us today. Uh, we're definitely going to get in some interesting news. And I uh, uh, just want to thank you and uh, tell you guys to check out our links down below. Uh, we do appreciate that, especially, especially over on Fanspeak, uh, where that community is certainly growing and we're having a good time with it. Uh, but uh, also uh, hit that share button and let your family and friends and extended community know what's going on so they come over here and join us. And uh, we are live streamers, of course. And uh, But other than that, you know, welcome to Fanspeak, uh, uh, damn nation. Nice to uh, uh, nice to see you. Uh, and of course, uh, we got a couple of panelists in here today. We have the one and only Tank Ferret. How you doing, Tank? Good, Chester. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing very, very good. And uh, uh, do me a favor, and the next time you're, because you know my schedule is ridiculous now, but uh, uh, do me a favor, and the next time you're over there with uh, uh, Manny and uh, Jimmy, uh, tell them hello for me, please. Oh, absolutely. I sure will. Thank you. Uh, and, of course, uh, we're also joined by the most Denali of all llamas. Hey, Denali. Uh, hello, guys. How's everybody doing? And I'm doing fine because I'm here with you guys talking about comics news, especially because there's another outage. Thank you, Verizon. <laughs> uh, no, really? Another outage? Yeah. Oh. oh, throughout the whole Eastern Board and throughout the whole united states actually I, are you talking about electrical right. outage like a brownout or a blackout or are you talking about cell service cell service oh i didn't know you were having trouble with that why should they be having trouble with that uh that's the real question because it's throughout you know all of the uh uh cities going on in the united states right now it's google so, it's their protest it's yeah, yeah trump is winning they can't stand it uh, but uh, yeah, because if if a billion and a half Chinese can have cell, consistent cell service all the time without any blackouts at all, uh, which you know, uh, uh, then they should be able to because China can't do nothing right. Well, you know, a lot of our infrastructure do have Chinese technology, so I'm not saying anything. I'm just oh, putting that, well, in, that information the out there. You found it, spies. Yeah. It's it's espionage. Well, I haven't said that word in a long time. Take that's like one of my favorite words too. I love espionage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, you know, it, it's funny. I, I, I have Netflix, uh, uh, as most people do, I guess. Uh, but um, mm -hmm. uh, there's not much to watch on uh, Netflix anymore, really. Uh, the only reason I can really keep it is because my kids watch the anime stuff that comes out on it. and uh, But anyway, anyway. Uh, but uh, my, we do find something occasionally to watch. And we, my wife and I, we like that show uh, Rotten. Uh, which talks about, um, you know, the food industry, various aspects of the food industry, and the corruption that goes on within it. I mean, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit uh, liberal, you know, activism type of thing. Not lefty act act activism, but liberal activism. But but it's all well and good because it is something we should pay attention to. And you learn about stuff you never really had thought about before. And uh, uh, it's funny to me how often China comes up on that show. It's like always. Right, uh, like they yeah. were talking about the wine. I was watching the thing about the wine, and um, they have a big battle between France and Spain right now, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but of course, China is getting involved. But of course, China has uh, these companies. Of course, these are good communists, and they get a lot of money from the, the communist government to set up these uh, these wineries, and they get all this support and stuff. And of course, they also give them slave labor because they'll just take a, a group of super poor mountain people and just move them to a place and say, okay, you're uh, you're working in a vineyard now. 
Uh, and of course, basically, it's slavery, right? Uh, and it's funny to me that you get in these people saying, oh, the Chinese Y is coming right along, and we're going to give it prizes because it's awesome. And it's like, okay, great, great there, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lefty. Uh, you keep uh, supporting uh, slavery in the third world. You go for it. Good for you. Right? They, they're pissed the earth is flat, damn nation says. <laughs> That's right, dude. That's right. Well, well, Chester, I mean, of course, you've seen the, the recent South Park episode that everyone is talking about. Oh, it's hilarious, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, and it was nailed right on the head. It reminds me, uh, like, go check out China Uncensored. Go support them. They're over that in Hong Kong show. right now. Yeah. Yeah. They're over in Hong Kong right now giving us the skinny. Yes. So that's, that's some solid journalism right there. Yeah, no, I say he's a little bit in danger. I mean, he, he was back in the uh, UK for quite a while. Uh, but when right. this uh, whole stuff happened with um, uh, Hong Kong, he went back over to, uh, you know, because he was in Hong Kong for a long time. Uh, but uh, he's in a bit of danger because he has been he absolutely named and marked by the Chinese government, right? Uh, oh, absolutely. Chris Chappell is uh, an originator of Winnie the Pooh memes. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> I mean, he's um, uh, I, good on him. And uh, if you haven't seen China Uncensored, definitely go check it out. Uh, but uh, that dude is, uh, you know, he's he's putting his life in, on the line right now. Hey, it really is. It's no joke. Yeah. Um, but then again, all of those Hong Kong press protesters are because we know right well, we've seen China do this before. Uh, when the media press cools down and no one starts to stop, uh, when everyone stops talking about it, you're going to see hundreds of young Hong Kong, uh, Hongkongese disappear. It's what they do. And they're just waiting. The same thing Iran did when all that debacle was going on. They're just waiting for the things to get away from the media, and then they'll just go off and kill them. And that's that's what's going to happen. So you know, that's why we can't. That's why I keep yep. talking about it because I don't want it. We can't let it go away. We need to keep talking about it. We need to keep complaining about people like the NBA and all these other companies that are so you know uh, choosing money over people's lives. Uh, you know, we can't shut up about it. I know this is a comic book channel, but I'm not going to shut up about it. Uh, because as soon as we do, as soon as media does, there's literally hundreds of young people in Hong Kong are, are going to die. That's what's going to happen. It's happened before. Yeah. It'll happen again. Uh, so it's, uh, it's serious business. It's serious business. And those people are desperately fighting for their freedom. Uh, real, real, real freedom is what they want, and they're they're begging the West to help them, and no one is coming to their aid. No one is talking about it in power, uh, and uh, it's disgusting to me because isn't that what America is based on? Isn't that what we are? Aren't we supposed to be the symbol of freedom, the the burning beacon to the world? Isn't that what we are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, boycott Blizzard, well, absolutely. Screw Blizzard, screw the NBA, well, screw all those companies. Jester, they're waving the American flag in Hong Kong still. They are. Because it's a symbol. It is. That's right. It's exactly it's right. Amazing. But we've had so many Americans have forgotten this. They've forgotten yeah. what we are. Right? And and it's it, and, and when, you, when I hear people, I'm glad I'm not in America right now because I'd be in jail already, dude. I'm telling you. Because if someone stood up in front of me and said America's not great again and start pissing on or burning the American flag, I'd crack someone's head, dude. In a heartbeat. And then i get arrested and pulled away. Right? I mean, it's it's just insanity to me. They cannot understand the historical implications of what America is compared to other things. Now, sure, it's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. Compared to everything else, it's way better, right? Anyway. Well, I mean, don't stop of... it. Don't don't. I I I'll what? come across the internet at you. I swear I will. No, wait until I see <laughs> what I'm going to say before you assume what I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it's in our constitution that we always strive to be the more uh, perfect nation. We're That's always right. striving for that. That's that part right. of our constitution and words and independence. So, you know, this is why it's, it's been a successful um, experiment, you know, because we are the only successful revolution, which everybody else hates thus far. And, oh, yeah, I know. It's uh, funny because when an, an, anyone wants to talk about revolution, what's the first name they always go to? The French Revolution. That absolutely failed thing that ended up producing an emperor. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, but, yeah, no, they can't stand that. That is for sure true. And if I pissed off in front of French people, I would say success for the day, man. I could sleep better tonight. 
fire off the fireworks and disappear into the night sky. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyway, I think that's enough politics for today. Let's do some actual comic book news. How about that? Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to shut up about it, though. I will mention it. I will keep mentioning it. I'm nobody. Uh, we're a small uh, group of friends over here having some fun, and I appreciate you guys, of course. But um, it's, uh, it's really dire. And uh, let's move on. Uh, by the way, yeah. hi, George. Greetings. Yeah. Y- you didn't have any... You're, well, you're, you're Canadian, so, you know, you're not going to really have an opinion, are you? No, no opinion. That's true. That's true. So, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. All right, here we go. Uh, Denali, take it away. All right. So, Hasbro's been making some moves, and one of their moves is actually buying Entertainment One. It's a, one of the largest uh, Canadian indie studios. Mm-hmm. Um that makes uh cartoons and one of the cartoons that they acquire actually is one of their more successful uh product which is uh pega pigs so from nickelodeon so if you have small kids and they watch that that's the studio that makes it so now they have make got in this studio for four billion in cash and it's been approved by the shareholders is it so, like captain kangaroo or sesame street uh more sesame street um but cartoon in cartoon form okay um but the point is is that they're they are the toy makers already realizing that they can't continue on with you know being a licensee they have to be a licensor and they have to make their own product like back in the heyday like gi joe he-man and all that stuff so they're gaining properties left and right to diversify their uh, uh, portfolio because one of their major lines, which was uh, Star Wars, has not been producing, actually been costing them a lot of money. So to offset that and not to be beholden to Disney and all that, they're acquiring other things. It's like when we talked about months ago where they bought Death Row Records uh, and we joked about, you know, we'll probably hear all the death row music and little my little pony or something like that you know there's going to be synergy about you know and i'm kind of interested what they're going to do with all these different acquisitions um as well yeah no uh, i am as well i am too uh but um uh, the thing it's smart really i'm glad to see hasbro is uh, is uh you know bobbing and weaving over there because you know uh they're in they're if they hadn't they they'd be in dire straits right uh with all the nonsense that was going on with uh the internet sales and uh, uh as well as all the kind of um nonsense that uh disney does with uh particularly star wars miniature you know uh action figures and toys uh you know killing toys or us uh you know hasbro is and all the toy companies are hurting hardcore uh because of that right and uh, uh right. for them to just sit back and, and and just try to you know survive that or weather it it it's not um uh, it, 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 I don't think it would be successful. And we're seeing some of the other uh, longtime toy companies are starting to go uh, file bankruptcy and going out of business, right? Uh, so Hasbro picking up uh, extra, you know, different businesses to try to find a way to make money, I, I, it's good. I'm glad because, uh, you know, ha- one of the other things that Hasbro bought a long time ago uh, was, of course, WotC or Wizard of the Coast. And uh, that gives them Pokemon. It gives them Dungeons and Dragons. It gives them... Um, uh, you know, I can't remember all the other stuff, but it gives them a bunch of properties. And uh, right. uh, so I'm glad to see him uh, uh, diversifying their uh, portfolio, as it were. Any comment, Tank? <laughs> Tank doesn't care about uh, no damn no, Hasbro. Is, uh, all right. No, this is this is good. I mean, it's like you were saying, it's it, they can now produce a lot more stuff in house, uh, which is basically, a, you know, it's a marketing wing. Yeah, it's what they bought. Yeah. Does the Canadian want to give us something on what is it? Peppa Pig? Is that what it is? Is it Peppa? Peppa? Hold on a second. I'm gonna check it. Yeah, it's Peppa Pig. What the hell that is? Oh, it's a show oh. for. A- no, I'm, I'm going to check it. I'm checking it. Hold on a second. Peppa. I, I, I know I know he won. Pig. I, uh, I have nothing more to say. 
Oh, this thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, yeah, I've seen this before. Uh, this mm-hmm. is actually pretty old. Yep. But yeah. now they're they're going to own all that property, so expect it to be more flooding and more cartoon base off of Peppa. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> you know, yeah. kids like that kind of thing. Um, it, it, it is part of that... Uh, I think it is part of that dumbing down of animation in the West, though. Uh, but uh, it's for such little, little kids. I think it's all right. <laughs> Maybe. All right. <laughs> all right. I mean, you only you only get what you put in, so, so to speak. This is true. This is very, very true. Uh, all right. Moving on here. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on a second. Hold on. I, I have to I have to be the booster for a minute. Ooh. Ooh David Govney. Mm. Okay, I'm done. Right. Go ahead. That was for, that was for Booster. Because <laughs> so, I, okay. like, I know he likes the sexy David. I know he likes it. Right. Well, they got uh, David to join their cast because they're remaking The Craft, mm. the yeah. 1990s, uh, uh, well, not 1990s, but the 90s Crafts, which is dealing with these uh, four teenage girls using witchcraft and then whatever well, we're the talking about the is, movie like, right we're talking about the movie yeah right? yeah we're talking about the movie okay so uh, yeah no the the original movie uh that came out uh it uh uh i can't remember all the actresses name but uh it was a lot more pop it was far more popular than it had a right to be uh but it was popular i do remember the outrage of that movie though uh because for the mtv awards it, it won the best fight of the year I remember because it was insulting because yeah. I do believe a uh, uh, Romeo must die came out that year. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which we were t- ironically talking about earlier. Uh, but, um, <laughs> uh, but actually it is a fun movie. Uh, uh, the craft is fun. It's a, it's a teenage girl movie, but it's still fun. Uh, so hopefully it'll be fun again. Uh, I, I, you know, and David is a good actor. He's a sexy dude, although he's probably going to be something different in this, but uh, I think it's cool. What do you think tank? Oh, I, I'm excited. Um, but I have a little bit of uh, fun movie trivia is that uh, my wife is actually in that movie in the background. Oh, really? Um, oh, nice. Yeah, because it was filmed at her high school and uh, she's uh, LARPing doing Werewolf the Apocalypse live action, resolving a scene from uh, in between games. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that's cool, dude. Yeah. No, but uh, the, the, yeah, the, I know a few people. I've been in a couple little uh, things as uh, as a extra myself, uh, not of course just a background extra. Uh, but uh, and I know I have a fa- well, family that have done it too, so it's fun. Yeah, they just filmed it at the school and just had the kids go about their like normal break time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's fun, Outside. dude. It's it's cool yeah. to be in a little, little in the background of a movie. It's fun, uh, but. Um, uh, now, who was the actress Danelli, uh who was in the original movie? Uh, the black hair, short hair, black hair girl. She was a standout of the film by far. I mean, she stole the whole damn movie. Uh, what, what was her name? Really, um, really strange looking girl, but perfectly cast. Yeah, she played Dorothy in the, in the sequel. Oh my God! Don't uh, even talk. What do you? Don't mention that. We don't yeah. talk about that here. <laughs> I think it was uh, Fereza Balk. Some weird name uh, like that, yeah. But she was perfectly yeah. cast, dude. She was, she killed it. Uh, but yeah, no. Just for you guys to know, it's the same actress uh, who was in Return to Oz, which is one of the most sadistically terrifying children's movies ever made. Uh, if you if true you, to the book, true to true, the book, true to the book, maybe. But damn, damn, that movie was harsh, dude. And it was really geared. It was really focused and sold to kids. But it was hardcore, man. Uh, and yeah, that was a, yeah. I think that was a Disney production as well. It probably was. Dude. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, I thought the uh, Wizard of Oz. Well, I don't know. I thought it was under Warner Brothers yeah. or something. But um, I don't know. But um, same girl, uh, Feruza Balk. Thank you very much, Martair. Uh But uh, she was Balk, great yeah. in that. She really was. Uh, so I, I think it's cool. I, I don't know. Um, uh, I don't know. I know we we talked about this once before, and the cast looked very silly and vapid girl uh, uh, girls, but that's what they should be. So I, I think it'll be fine. But adding David to company is only going to help it because this dude's 
pretty solid, man. I mean, he's had two major success, uh, successfully uh, successful TV shows. And uh, we can name off a few people who have, like Ed Harris, for instance, has had a couple as well. Uh, but it's hard to do, man. It's hard to do. Uh, and uh, the, the list of people who have done that is small. Uh, so uh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, so we've had good news so far, Tank. There's been no ranting at all. Next. All right. So CBS Viacom merger deal reveal shares to trade on NASDAQ. So they're moving forward with the remerger. Mm-hmm. Uh, for those who weren't aware or didn't know, CBS and Viacom used to be a, sin- a single entity until the, I think, the former founder or chairperson, I can't remember his name exactly, decided to break the Redstone, Mr. Redstone, I can't remember, broke up the two companies into, uh, broke up the company into two entities, CBS and uh, Viacon, which was uh, Paramount, that owns Paramount. That's why you have the whole Paramount owns the movie rights for Star Trek, but doesn't yeah. own the rights for Star Trek, the TV show, and right. CBS owns CBS. And that's why we have bad reboot. 25% different, baby. 25% difference, which we're almost at the end, but this merger will probably throw a wrench into things and we'll probably have to wait even longer. Yeah, but uh, it, it is interesting, the right? Proper start. It was the Viacom mm-hmm. CBS merger and now it's the CBS Viacom merger. That's interesting. I don't know if that's happened before. As, right. It's is, yeah. because it's because it's the daughter who spear hair heading the merger yeah i think it'd be better for them it it would i mean they need to try to do something to survive amongst the bigger networks uh because they're getting the butts absolutely handed to them uh so you know uh i think it's a good thing hopefully they'll get it done and uh maybe we'll get a good star trek out of it george well (laughs) george yes yes you must have an opinion on Star Trek possibly going back to where it should be, away from the JJ A, the Jar Jar Abram verse. I mean, come on. Uh, they already damaged the franchise in such a way that it's going to be at least five to ten years before we see anything credible. That's and, fair. Um, That's fair. Uh, between now and then, I'm going to spend my money somewhere else, and I think I'm going to stick to that somewhere else. All right. Cool. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, Star Star Taylor, how you doing? Uh, let's see here. Uh, everyone's just saying hello to everybody else, and that's always cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's interesting news. We'll see what happens with that. I hope it happens because uh, it's 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 stupid the way it is right now. They need to fix it. Uh, but uh, we do have a Netflix animated. Right. What? Yep. Yep. So Netflix got the bid to animate <laughs> Jeff Smith uh, acclaimed comic book epic Bone. Mm-hmm. So it's coming to a Netflix to you near you. Wow, do you uh, think we'll see Bone how it will goes. work in animation though? Well, they've been talking about it since <laughs> the mid 90s, so mm. it's been almost what, 25, 30 uh 25 years since they've been talking about this. I think it could work. It, I mean, they really need to find the right personality to direct it and to understand what the whole comic book is about um, to get it, you know, that comedic timing right because it is a 25-year-old property. Um, my fear is that they'll put in a lot of the current political climate into it, which will probably, you know, fall flat. Hopefully that's not the case. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, Bone mm. is fun. It is fun. Uh, but it's also more adult. Uh, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I just, for some reason, my brain is saying Bone animated. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know. Why, why is that uh, bug in my brain, Tank? It shouldn't. Uh, all, all The entire book is basically one huge I story think it great. Wow, it's weird. Tank all of a sudden sounds Canadian. It's weird. That was a joke. Go ahead, Tank. I think it'll sound great, eh? Oh, Jesus. All right, fine. 
I don't know. I I, I, I hope it's good. I liked Bone. Bone was fun. Uh, but uh, it is funny to talk about the, the 20, 30 years they've been trying to get this done, uh, which you would think they would at least have some kind of a uh, uh, little bit of animation out there that we could see and uh, see if it looked good. But I haven't heard of it before. Uh, but uh, it makes me, uh, r- reminds me yesterday, I, like I said, I was watching that Rotten show with my wife. And they're talking about how evil and horrible Nestle is uh, because they take water from all the Africans and they and they're, don't have water and people are dying, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, it was funny because this, uh, you know, their their cities are so polluted because they just throw their garbage all over the place and don't do nothing about cleaning it up. And it's just an absolute disaster, right? And uh, what it does is it, it puts all this filth and pollution into the water table. And, of course, that means that water is uh, fouled. And it's no good. And it makes people sick. You know, a typical story of Africa. Uh, but uh, <laughs> they had uh, these one uh, gr- little b- people in a neighborhood area, and they were complaining. And they were uh, they were showing the pointing out there was this uh, plastic uh, PVC pipe that was li- lying uh, lying in the concrete, and it was exposed. And they said it was broken. And we've been trying 20 years to get it fixed. 20 years to get it fixed. And it was basically like a a four or five foot length of pipe that was broken, right? And right on the wall next to them was a whole bunch of PVC pipe that was not connected to anything. And it's like, how come you don't take it off the wall and just glue it into position somehow? I mean, it's a, it would take me, what, an hour to figure that out and get it fixed, but they've been waiting 20 years for somebody to come fix it? I'm sorry. I apologize. I got off, I got off topic. Uh, but, I mean, damn, man. Uh, Nestle, it's, it doesn't attack just Africa. They already did. Uh, they're already trying to do this to Canada. Oh yeah, no. In our freshwater uh, well oh, yeah. areas. I was shocked, dude. Now, cause I hardly ever buy a bottle of water. I mean, occasionally, but because uh, I have really good water where I live, but. Um, I didn't know. The, you guys need to go watch that rotten show. It is pretty interesting. And then go fact check it yourself later, and you'll find that you'll be shocked, man. Uh, the the whole water thing is really shocking. But um, it just it just stood out in my mind, man. Because, I mean, I've heard many stories like this. I've had friends who've done uh, going over to Africa to help, you know, build wells and do things like that to try to help help those poor people. Uh, but I constantly get these stories back, and they just they just sit there and do nothing for no, the longest time when it would literally take them a matter of minutes to fix the problem. But they, they don't, and I don't understand this thinking. I can't understand the logic behind it. 20 years you're waiting for a plastic tube to be fixed when there's materials right around you that you could fix it yourself. Uh, Chester, have you ever seen a horse that has a harness and um, uh, a ring around his uh, face? Of course. With a, with a I lived rope, in New York. With hanging, with a, yes, with a rope hanging from it. And that rope is, is um, just draped over a chair or a fence. Mm-hmm. And the horse doesn't move. No, it doesn't. Until that, until he gets a pull on that rope. Are you calling black people's horses? No, I'm, That's I'm, racist. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying the mentality <laughs> uh, uh, it is, is, is not there to extrapolate the environment around them mm-hmm. they can they can extrapolate really well with what they know but a pvc pipe is is not it's not that they're stupid they're just not experienced in in pvc pipes that's all you can be a, an absolute genius mm-hmm. and 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 live off of the land in africa uh, you know beyond what we would even consider amazing Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they come across a technology like pvc pipes Mm -hmm. and and they won't know what to do with it Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's a crazy high level technology never seen anything like it before Uh, of course they could just use bamboo but anyway uh nick w says what does this have to do with bone absolutely nothing i do apologize uh but uh roger heller says i want to be funny bone well you know what dude one of my favorite snacks is actually called funny bones it's like a peanut butter filling and i haven't had it in almost 20 years it's so sad they still make those funny bones i don't don't believe so i think that i doubt yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, back to the story. Um, yeah, no, I hope it's cool. Uh, I liked Bone, so we'll see. Awesome. Good on you, Jeff Smith. Netflix is finally solving your 30-year-long long dream. Nice. Uh, what is what? Ooh. Billy Campbell is back? Right. So 
they're doing the Rocketeer animated series, um, and they got Billy Campbell to voice the Rocketeer again. Sweet, dude. So. Now, this isn't that absolutely right. wrecked SJW crap comic uh, conversion, is it? This is something original. This is the actual Rocketeer, right? Right. Okay, okay. Good, good, cool, cool. Okay. They get Jennifer back? Um, No. No. Okay. They didn't get Jennifer. They got um. Let's see, Kita uh, Kitania Turnbull to mm-hmm. voice what used to be Jennifer's role. So oh, cool. Yeah, I love the Rocketeer. It's one of my favorite uh, guilty pleasures. Uh, what about you, George? Do you like the Rocketeer? Oh yeah, I saw it at uh, the place called the Cin- Cinesphere here in Toronto. Uh, the biggest um, uh, screen I think was like fifty feet tall. Oh wow! It, nice. It, 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 it was amazing. I mean, I, and, and, and the thing that freaked me out is I, I met Dave Stevens um, at a Toronto con- uh, convention, and I didn't know it was him. I had my Rocketeer books I wanted to sign, and I met him, and I go back to my table to continue selling the Black Down Effect. Mm-hmm. And then my brother comes up to me and goes, did you see Dave Stevens? I go, no, where is he? He goes, okay, don't worry about it. I got him to sign all your Rocketeer books. Oh, nice, dude. I, I go like, I, I got to see them. Where is he? He goes, look, look. And he points between you know, a, a sea of people. As, as, as the people were moving around, there was, a, there was like a parting of the way, a parting of the Red Sea. And my brother goes, that guy right at the end uh, against the wall. I go, oh, my God. I, met, I actually talked to him. I didn't even know it was him. Oh, the wow. capper to the story is I was uh, getting rid of a bunch of comic books and stuff like that. I got rid of my Rocketeer signed Dave Stevens books. Why? Without without knowing it. I, I I only knew it after the the buyer got them, and he said, "Thank you so much. You know, you got you got ten plus rating on this transaction, and the books are signed." And all I could think at that <laughs> Damn moment. Damn it, George! Pay attention. Uh, the, the, the biggest, loudest expletive I could muster. Yeah, yeah. And the neighbors called the house and going are you okay are you okay everything okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i i rocketeer is one of those things i think it just hit uh, a certain group of people perfectly uh it has that nostalgia of like the old shadow stuff uh those old uh, serials uh, from way back when uh it just it, it, yeah no it Beautiful. has the indiana jones part to it uh, it, it just is fun dude love the rocketeer i hope this cartoon is awesome i certainly hope yeah. it's not disney's the Wolketeer, uh nick uh, and, and it sounds like it's not it's not going to be which because they brought billy back uh but uh um, right yeah i'm hoping but so. you never know you never know, <laughs> you never right? know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Damn Nation says, I got some Rocketeer trading cards. Sweet, dude. Uh, it is fun, dude. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I imagine what we'll probably see is uh, uh, hopefully they'll keep the old guy. I mean, it would be a tragedy if they didn't have the old guy. Uh, but they'll oh, have. Oh, oh, I just want sorry. I, I, sorry to interrupt. I do have a, a good new, a good news ending to my story. Uh-huh. I just realized that I'm looking over to my left and I see the IDW. Uh, hardcover uh, artist edition of the Rocketeer. Awesome. That is good to hear. It, 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 it brought joy to me just looking at the pencils and inks that Dave Stevens had done. Well, there you go. Well, Damn Nation has a good question, uh, which I'd like to know the answer to, too. Uh, now, I've seen a couple of uh, uh, different uh, Rocketeer books, so it must it was at least a couple. Uh, but he says, was Rocketeer a on, an ongoing series, or or from my from no, my question, no, it was, was it a mini series. It was a it was a finite series, the series one, series two. Okay. Um, and, and that was it. That's all that Dave Stevens had had done. And uh, and uh, it's it's collected. You can buy it um, anywhere you you look. You'll find it. It's it's a wonderful complete collection, and. Um, I'm telling you that over that hardcover artist edition from IDW, it's well worth the money. Mm-hmm. It's well worth it. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Some of those trades are really nice, uh, nicely put together. It's like that Agents of Atlas I picked up. Beautiful book. Um, uh, Combo Bob says uh, he'll hand it off to his daughter. Mark my words, uh, maybe, uh, but at least it'll be a legacy. Uh, now, uh, Eric Hawkins uh, absolutely embarrasses himself uh, by saying funny bones. 
<laughs> oh, Funny Bows is a Drake's, uh, definitely a Northeast thing, uh, still available even on Amazon. Sweet, because those are awesome. But like I said, I haven't had them in 20 years. Uh, but yeah, they are Drake's. It's a uh, chocolate-covered uh, chocolate cake with peanut butter filling. Mm. Chocolate and peanut butter. God's food. Most important thing to remember. Uh, but uh, good news, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to check it out. Uh, I don't know when it's coming out, but uh, awesome. So we've had good news today, guys. Uh, I hope it. I hope it continues. Yep. Uh, well, well, this by someone else, but from Collider, the Batman has cast Paul uh, Dano as the Riddler um, for the movie. So there you go. Well, no, it's we've like been talking. I, I grabbed it because we've been talking about the casting uh, news that's coming out. Uh, we have Zoe Kravitz coming from yesterday when we know she does uh, good voice acting, so maybe her acting is good as well. Uh, she's unfortunately not a very attractive woman, uh, but um, that's kind of the way they're going. They don't want you to uh, 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 see beautiful women anymore. I'm sure she's going to be covered head to toe. Uh, they will, and they won't, and it'll be baggy clothing. She won't be in a tight suit. I guarantee it. Uh, but, um, uh, but nevertheless, uh, I'm very positive about this because Robert Pattinson's showing his acting skills recently. Uh, we have uh, Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon. We have uh, Matson Tomlin as well as uh, uh, doing the screenplay or, or co-wrote the screenplay with them. Uh, and, of course, he produced along with Dark, uh, uh, Dylan Clark. Uh, but uh, this fella here, uh, I've seen him in nothing. I don't recognize him at all. So who who is this kid? Uh, let's see here. Here's his uh, stuff. He's done Wildlife. Uh, he's done uh, There Will Be Blood. Have you seen okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, 12 yeah. Years a Slave, didn't watch it. Okja, didn't watch it. Prisoners, didn't watch it. Okay. But those are big-time movies, though. Yeah, um, he's done The Newcomers, uh, Taking Lives with uh, Ian Hawking. He was in The King, The Ballad of Jack and Rose, Little Miss Sunshine. Um, oh, wow. All right, so he's been around. He, he was, yeah. Yeah, and and he's def- like he's a character actor, you know, moving up to lead yeah. actor now. Maybe, yeah. yeah, because these are good movies. He must he must be a good actor. Uh, so it's yeah, just they're putting together a roster. They seem to be serious about it. So, uh, yeah, no, we're just uh, any kind of Batman news. Uh, I'm going to throw it up here because I'm I'm interested in who's going to be in it and what it's going to happen because it it could be good guys. It could be good, and it's uh, and George, you were telling us uh, that uh, uh, they're basing this upon the long Halloween, right? I did not know that. I, I wasn't oh. the one. It was well, the Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah. Gave us that. yeah it's, so far the main inspiration is the long Halloween by Tim Sales. All right, and he's going to be the Riddler. So that's an interesting choice, man, <laughs> as the Riddler. Um, uh, looking at his face. Uh, Actually, I, he's not a bad choice. Actually, I, I kind of, for some reason, this picture down here, I'm feeling more of the the toy maker. But um, ah, interesting. All right. So, and it's from Collider, which you know, I usually don't uh, talk about Collider, but uh, that's all right for today. All right. <laughs> uh, so, it's all positive news. This uh, uh, today's uh, comic news today, guys, and uh, it continues. Uh, this right here, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure who put this up. I don't think it was you, Denali. Uh, I think nope. there's Somali, actually. Uh, but um, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at it. Antarctic Press. Now, we know the whole debacle with them being forced by Mark Wade uh, to drop Richard Meyer's book, uh, Jawbreakers. We know the whole thing. Uh, it uh, was a very pivotal moment in the uh, in initial indie revival, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, and of course, everybody and their brother was saying, "Hey, don't blame Antar- Antarctic. Uh, they have to they have to feed their children, right?" Uh, and of course, Mark Wade is uh, in litigation over what he did as we speak. I think <laughs> I, I haven't heard any complete uh, uh, solution to that, uh, a resolution to that yet. Uh, but I wanted to check in and see what they're doing. So. Uh, and see if anybody is reading any of this stuff. I'm just kind of uh, uh, curious. Uh, so we have Badass. Never heard of it. Now, Tank. Tank's in, in, a real indie guy, so he might be able to help us out here. Uh, Tank, are you still here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah. Uh, no, never never heard of it. Never heard of I it. I hadn't heard of that one. Now, uh, uh, Catch It, uh, which, you know, no ding ding because it's a name. Uh, but I've seen those little YouTube videos of Catch It, and it's funny. 
and they're very really, really well made. So they've decided to turn this into a. Uh, uh, I guess it was a, a manga, but I've uh, from I've seen the YouTube stuff. Have you guys seen the YouTube stuff on that? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. Unfortunately, no. Actually, you should guys go check it out. No, I know it's no. a weird thing to search cat shit, but go check it out. It's all it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And of course, uh, you know, uh, of course, you guys talk about punchline. I'm going to get to it. Uh, <laughs> Dog eaters, never heard of it. Gold digger, I've certainly heard heard about. Uh, this is a uh, where where do they get the rights for this? Oh, it's not at all what I thought it was. No, it's not gold digger. It's a different gold digger. Oh, okay, it looks a uh, manga. Yeah. So they seem to do a lot of manga stuff. Uh, horror comic sketchbook, don't know, don't know, don't know. Jungle comics, oh. All right. Well, uh, so they picked up that book because I have one of those. Uh, so well, they always cool. pick. Yeah, they always picked up the book. They were just doing crowdfunding at the beginning. Nice. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Planet Comics. I don't know. Punchline. Of course, we do know, uh, and uh, that is very cool that they picked that up uh, because, of course, we have absolutely killer art from our our boy Matt, uh, and of course uh, the uh, the whole team uh, we've had on here before. We've spoken to them many times. Uh, it's very nice to see them uh, getting uh, published and uh, having success. It's awesome, dude. Uh, so uh, it's real. I'm really happy that people are starting to take that second step and in getting into the publishers and things like that. Uh, I understand the direct market aspect of uh, the uh, Kickstarter and uh, Indiegogo, of course. Uh, but uh, you know, for long term success, you really need to be in this uh, uh, this uh, this market, of course. So uh, good on Punchline, Strong Box. It's a lot of NV card. Yeah, I, I don't know most. Most of it, I do recognize a couple, but mainly, uh, congratulations to the <coughs> line, right? That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. good. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, dude. Uh, I picked up Gold Digger on occasion. You do? All right, cool. Because uh, I, I, maybe I'm thinking of Gold Diggers. Uh, maybe it has an S on the end of it because it's not that didn't look anything like what I'm used to. Uh, the one I had like a female spy thing. I was what I'm thinking yeah, about. Yeah, that's an S. That's an S. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but um, this is awesome. Of course, great Matt Weldon art. I mean, the guy's just a phenom. Uh, so uh, awesome, dude. We've had great news the whole damn show. Am I? Is it going to be ruined? I don't know. Peppa Pig didn't <laughs> ruin it. Peppa Pig was all right. I'm okay with Peppa Pig. So here we go. Last news of the day. Is it going to be positive? Is it going to be awesome? I did back Jungle uh, Comics as well, March Hare. Uh, I have it in my little grubby possession, actually. How was the book? Uh, I think it's uh, actually no. I don't have the Jungle Book yet. I have the other one, the um, the other Jungle one where uh, Kill All Men. That's the one I have. I haven't got the Jungle one yet. Yeah, okay. Ravage Kill. Yeah, oh, okay. Ravage Kill All Men. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but here's our last story of the day. Fingers crossed. Is it going to be positive? Is it going to be positive? It is kind of. Go ahead. So from CBR, Titans proves. <laughs> Sorry. Titans proves uh, Zack Snyder's Man of Steel was right. And they're specifically talking about the advice that Paul Kent during the Man of Steel movie said to Clark about, you know, should I have let uh, those kids die? And he said, maybe kind of deal. Okay, Which... well, this headline mm -hmm. is incorrect, though. This, right. is, this is not correct. So uh, uh, Ronaldo uh, Matadine. Matadine, that's an interesting name, actually. Uh, you, you, you really need to rethink your title, dude, because Titans doesn't prove that Zack Snyder's Man of Steel was right. It proves that Zack Snyder's Man of Steel was wrong because in the Man of Steel, Pa Kent was suggesting that <clears throat> he hide himself and let people die. And, of course, we know this is the exact opposite of what Superman is. Matter of fact, that we have seen and explored many times uh, the idea of, of uh, uh, Kal-El not having the absolute in, incorruptible morality of Ma and Pa Kent behind him. If he doesn't have that, things go wrong, right? <clears throat> and it's extremely important. And that was one of the big things Zack Snyder did that ticked people off because, no, that's not what Pa Kent does, right? Now, <clears throat> in the Titans, which is a crap show, I understand that, but actually <clears throat> Pa Kent says the same thing to him, but he ignores it. Right? So, it. I don't understand the headline. Uh, please help me, Denali. Am I misunderstanding something? So, so basically, um, you have uh, uh, Superboy 
or Connor in this case, yeah. given the same advice, but instead of uh, the Man of Steel, where Clark ex- kind of accept the advice, yeah. he ignores the advice, so he's been it's a negative consequences, which is why the headline is saying that oh, the advice was sound, and that's why the Man of Steel was right. Oh, I see. Good. They're they're double double thinking it. I get it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, they're wrong. Uh, because that is Superman, uh, and of course Connor is a clone of Superman. Uh, but uh, it, it, it's a it's it's just this, this constant need today for them to dirty up the hero and to clean up the villain. Uh, it's just it's quite disgusting. It's a complete lack of why people love heroes. Uh, it shows you exactly why the Marvel franchise has successfully marched along in the cinema so well and why things like titans is sucking wind is because they don't understand that simple concept captain america is a hero right uh Mm -hmm. iron man is a hero even though he causes a lot of their troubles in the end he is a heroic heart they're heroes they do the right thing and take the consequences because that's what a responsible person does that's the whole damn message you stupid millennials. Uh, I do apologize. Uh, George, would you like to comment on this? Yeah, you're right. CBR, the CNN and comic book news. Absolutely. How about you, Tank? You got an opinion on this? Boo. 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 Yes. Boo. <laughs> Thank you, Tank. Um, I yeah, mean, I'm not a fan. Yep. Yeah, no. This, 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 I got no opinion. Sorry, I uh, muted myself because I had no opinion. So I got to unmute myself to tell you I have no opinion. Well, thank you, George. Thank you very much. You've been very helpful today. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, no. It, it, you know, the Schneider uh, film had many problems. Uh, it did, um, and one of the big ones was the fact that that was not uh, that was not Pa Kent. That's just not how he raised him, and and we know. What happens when when Kal-El doesn't have the morality of the Kents, man? We we know it's been demonstrated over and over again, right? We just had a movie come out, which unfortunately wasn't a very good movie, uh, but uh, Brightburn uh, was it, it, looking at the same thing. It's Superman, and he falls through a family that isn't capable of uh, instilling the morality ne- needed in him, and the kid goes wacko and murders people, right? Um, it's really sad though, because that Brightburn no, is no, no, not no, a good. You can't, you, you can't, come, you can't do that with Brightburn. Brightburn I most certainly the, can the, do that. Kid, I just no, did. The, the kid, the kid was mind controlled by the spaceship in Brightburn. Spoiler. All right, fine. But I mean, it, it, it is, a, it is an understanding of that type of thinking, right? Uh, but uh, Brightburn could have been a great movie, though, George. It could have been, could have been fun, uh, but it, it really wasn't done well. It was very poorly handled uh, in in so many ways, and I don't care about you. Could take the whole story and theme out of it. That's that 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 we don't even have to go that far. We just talk about the movie making process. It was not good, and it's too bad because that trailer was really in, uh, really uh, enticing, you know. Uh, but uh, it wasn't a good movie. Oh well, uh, <clears throat> and that's not me being too picky either. Uh, it, it just it, go watch it, and you'll you'll see what I mean. Uh, but, um, yeah, no, this whole concept, uh, Superman is, they just don't understand Superman, dude. They can't, I don't think they, I think they can't understand Superman. I think it's beyond their guilt-ridden, virtue-signaling, uh, degenerate brains to understand Superman. You know what I mean? And I yes. Mean, <laughs> the only thing I can say is, you know... They don't understand why do they always wear underwear outside? Because it's the uh, you know circus and carnival where the straw man yeah. would wear costume. It's that's just, where it came yeah, with. That's right. It yeah. was just, it was a shorthand to show strength, you know. Um, and it's the same thing, you know. There's a lot of things that's been lost along the ways that's been up obtused. Uh, because yeah. of, you know, how people act and, you know, morals change. And like you said, it's the, they can't do Superman because they don't see him in, in themselves. 
when once upon a time immigrants and two Jewish boys kind of figure that figure that out easily because that was the right thing to do. Yeah, no, they wanted to take the story of Moses and modernize it and uh, uh, make it cool. And they took all the cool things that were around them at the time and they created Superman and it stuck. And, uh, uh, you know, if you go back and you read, because you can find it digitally today, so you can read Superman from issue one, right? 1939, right. 1937. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> if you look at it, it took them a good 20 to 50 issues to really iron out Superman, right? Um, and right. Uh, it, it's great to just see the evolution of it. If you've never done it before, go find a digital copies of those and just read them. It's quite fascinating to see where it started and how and when he becomes Superman because you'll 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 recognize it immediately when he becomes Superman. Uh, it's a great little uh, 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 thing to do, especially if you've never read it before. It's interesting. Uh, cult film video says sucked. Trailer showed the whole arc. Yeah, it did, uh, and it's it could have been fun. I mean, I know I rail against the idea of uh, always trying to dirty up and 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 uh, pollute the superhero but doing an elsewhere sto story you know completely you know and 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 uh, you know uh, committing yourself to it is fine uh, and uh, I really I it was really disappointing to me how bad that movie was I really wanted it to be good uh, I, I was quite a disappointment actually uh, but <clears throat> yeah, anyway. a funny, a funny thing about Superman is that uh, he, the character Superman in the comics really didn't get fleshed out until uh, two things happened. One, the radio play, where they introduced Kryptonite, yeah. and two, the uh, Fleischer animation, which actually oh, introduced yeah. Flight. Yeah, you're right. That was absolutely beautiful. The, uh, and one, That's another thing. If you haven't seen the Fleischer animations from, what, 1939, is it? Uh, uh, 30, uh, 40 and 41. 40 and 41. Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen them, go watch that. And 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 if you understand what it took for them to make that, understand today with computers and such, the, it's it's quite easy to make stuff <clears throat> comparatively. Uh, but the, the the effort they went in to make those shorts is ridiculous, dude. And nothing but I mean, it, 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 I don't know, George. For me, it might be some of the greatest animation ever made. It is, and they yeah. and they broke new technologies making uh, those they cartoons did. at yeah. that time. It's it's just shockingly impressive, especially if you understand the time of it. Now I know right. Snow White came out before that. I understand that, and uh, of course Snow White uh, was another phenomenal production of art. Uh, so I'm not going to take anything away from that, of course. Uh, but uh, the Fleischer films are just insane, dude. They're they're just it's it's amazing stuff. And, you know, I love Superman. Uh, so, in a way, I'm saying good on you uh, here, t uh, Titans. I'm still not going to watch your show because it sucks balls. Uh, but <clears throat> you went and ruined it because Connor's making the good moral choice, but yet you're going to punish him for it and show, no, he's wrong. You can't do the right thing. You have to do the sensible thing. Dun, dun, dun. We're Titans. Yeah, thank you. Good. Good on you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me come back over here the other side. Uh, but yeah. uh, All right. Well, that was a fun show. Uh, I enjoyed yes. myself today. That was good, positive news. How nice, man. And Todd was nowhere to be seen. It's his, that, that, was his, that was a show for him, man. He would have been happy, right? I guess so. Uh, but it's the same thing I do every day, so. <laughs> yeah, no. So. I mean, well, some of it is certainly more negative or, or, or mocking, uh, at least. Uh, but uh, yeah. yeah, some good news today. And, uh, of course, there are a lot of things we're keeping an eye open. And uh, in the end, we have our fingers crossed, right? Because we want this stuff to be good. We don't want it to be bad, right? That's not our thing. Now, there are people in the world, <coughs> leftists, uh, who want things to be bad. You literally have a good chunk of the American Democratic Party who wants America to fail. They want people to have less money in their pocket. They want the economy to crash so that they can win. That's literally what you have going on in some people's mind these days. And it's it's insanity is what it is. Uh, but uh, that's not what we want. We want it all to be awesome. Right? I mean, that's the point. So I don't know. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad we had a happy news day. And, uh, of course, mm -hmm. do keep in mind, guys, coming up in a little over an hour, uh, we're going to be having Drawn and Quartered uh, Fan Edition. Please come on back. 
Uh, we want this stuff to be good. Chester 2019. Absolutely, Nick. We want it to be all of it to be amazing. Why, Chester, what, what's the subject of tonight on Drawn and Quarter? Ooh, 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 very good question. <laughs> Chester doesn't even know. Uh, are you well, drawing tonight, by I the way? Do know. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> I do know. I, I know. I, and usually I don't know. Oh, I, I did. did what are you talking I did know this. What am I talking about? You did know uh, this. Uh, I did know this. Uh, well, guys, <laughs> let me have Tank Ferret uh, go ahead and explain to you what we are doing on the fan, uh, fan edition tonight. Go ahead, dude. All right. Well, tonight we're doing the Apex Predator herself, the year 2065, Scalpel Zero. Uh, this is a fun one, folks, because the costume doesn't matter. It's like a paper doll. So you get to just cut loose with your science fiction nonsense. Yeah, buddy. Now, you're going to be drawing, right? I know you're going to be a guest, but you're going to draw, right? No, 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 no. That, that would be uncouth. That would be uncouth. Would it? Would it? Okay, fine. Well, I you do realize so. I'm going to make it PG-13 plus, uh, plus 1,000. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. No, this is dark and brutal yeah, no, and cyberpunk, yeah. and I want people to, uh -huh. to to show me the dark future and yeah, scare yeah. me. Yeah, it's awesome. Tits hanging out everywhere, dude. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. So if you guys, uh, uh, the ultimate edition, I do apologize, Eric. Uh, so coming up <laughs> in about an hour, uh, we have the uh, uh, Drawn and Quartered Ultimate Fan Edition. And uh, we will uh, we will be drawing uh, um, pornography. Well, I guess, yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, so uh, you know what we need to do uh, tank. <clears throat> we need to because uh, uh, your your character is very sexual, uh, and it's of course you're you're a great artist on it too yourself, and it's beautiful stuff. Uh, but uh, you know what we really need to do? We need to bring yeah. in little girl Lethal Man. Sugar likes oh, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the... about my character being sexual when you know she's a combat machine and whatnot. But oh sure. boy, you want to talk about sex personified? Oh, yeah. Sugar yeah. Lightspeed, baby. Sugar Lightspeed, what a great name. Uh, but Scalpel Zero. So, so how do I tweet this out? Uh, there's going to be porn on uh, fan speak. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go have at it, George. Have fun. Uh, but uh, that will yeah, yeah, yeah. give us a plus 25 people will show up for sure. Maybe we'll hit the 100 today. That'd be nice. Uh, but uh, no, of course, Tank has been working on Scalpel Zero for quite a while. I remember over a year ago first seeing it, and uh, it's it's just killer art, dude. Uh, it's you Thanks, know man. Tank is a great artist. Uh, you guys know that. Uh, but his Scalpel Zero, you can see his passion in it. It's it's absolutely killer, dude. Uh, so uh, it's gonna be a story. It's it is going to be man. a real killer story, and I'm putting it out when it's ready to get put out. You know, it's it's sure. one of those things. I'm not going to rush it because eh, then what am I doing to the customer? I'm offering them substandard product, you know, and I don't well, want to launch so a campaign and have wait a long time, you know, for it to be delivered. So, you know, it's it's hustle, hustle, get the work done. What needs so, to happen? So, so, Tank, you're 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 a, you're a great comic artist. Uh, I guess. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Oh, OK, say something funny. Oh, Jesus. Um, no, no, drop kick him. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to wake up Booster. I'm going to put him in his nice little tight Naruto outfit, and he's going to Naruto across the ocean into Canada in the freezing north and drop kick you five times, George. Damn it. Well, you know, Chester, this one time mm -hmm. in Baghdad. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, well, no, 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 no. 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 And, uh, well, he, he, he comes up and goes, hey, hey, you know, Mr. Mr. Chocolate, you give, you give, right? And he's like, he's like, he checks his pockets. I check my pockets. We're fresh out of chocolate. And he goes and he puts a dip in his mouth. Uh -huh. And the kid goes, Chocolate, Chocolate, pointing at the dip. And, well, the guy goes, no, no, it's not chocolate. He goes, he looks over at me. I spoke a little bit of Arabic at the time. He goes, hey, t tell this kid this isn't chocolate. And I go, you know, I tell the kid it's not chocolate. It's tobacco. It's not delicious. He needs to go home. Uh, we don't have anything. Uh, sorry. And uh, he insists. And my friend opens up the package, takes a sniff, and makes a sour face. Pat points it towards the kids. He goes, see, smell. The kid grabs his little fingers, just reach right inside that little skull wintergreen container and popped it all into his mouth. Chomp, chomp, chew. And back out it came. Uh, meanwhile, the kid's dad, who had overheard the entire conversation, was urging his son to come back and come home. Uh, chuckled. Uh, his son learned a lesson the hard way. So what you're telling us is while you were in the military uh, over in Baghdad, you were corrupting children. 
Good on you, Ted. No. That's the no. moral of the story. <laughs> He's a child corrupter. Damn it. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> no. Anyway, oh, guys, boy. Uh, it is definitely time to go. I will see you in an hour. Uh, definitely come over. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's a great character. Uh, and uh, uh, Eric, uh, I don't know if you're on the list today, but we do have seats. So uh, uh, come on over and be part of it, dude. Uh, but uh, thank you guys, and uh, uh, do keep in mind that uh, tomorrow is our day off, uh, so we will see you on Saturday. Uh, I know Danelli is working on a guest. I don't think we have one as for as of yet, but it uh, doesn't matter. We'll have fun, of course. Uh, if any of you guys do want to be a guest on the show, <clears throat> just hit us up. Uh, you can uh, contact Denali, of course, or you can contact me on the Twitter, and we'll definitely get you in there because uh, we want to talk to you. That's what we like to do. Uh, so uh, Denali, take us out of here, man. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us for Comic Steve today. Join us on Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern for Fan Speak. Uh, follow us uh, in 59 minutes for the Drawn and Quarter Ultimate Edition um, as we're doing Scapel Zero with Tank Fairy and see what insanities or what happens. I don't know. It's going to be a lot of fun. So check it out. Um, share, hit that like subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell notification to get the notification because you know youtube doesn't like us or follow us on twitter because we always tweet out when we're about to start the shows Mm -hmm. um but as always your perception shapes your reality so always make it a good one namaste Namaste. Uh, all right eric i will do that and zach as far as i know i should be on the pontificators tomorrow uh but uh thank you guys later aloha